Good afternoon, my name is Glenda Carr, President and CEO of Higher Heights, the political home for black women. We know that when black women, when black women vote, we move this country forward. Black women have been the architects of our democracy from the suffrage movement to the civil rights movement to today. The 24 million black women in this country are demanding our return on our voting investment. And for a country that should be leading in expanding voting rights, we find ourselves fighting to protect the very rights we've been working on for decades. And so, just like black women, when we vote, we don't go to the polls alone. We bring our house, our block, our church, our sorority, and our union. That is what we're going to do to organize, to have a conversation, and demand that states, our state legislators, and our congressional members hear that we just don't mobilize to go to the polls. We are going to mobilize our house, our block, our church, our sorority, and our union to make phone calls, to, to join rallies like this, to call, to email, to tweet, to TikTok, um, to show that democracy doesn't begin and end on election day. In fact, it begins. And so we have work to do as black women. And I'm so excited to rally with black women from across this country and black leaders to show the power of black women 365 days a year. And so I look forward to working with my colleagues to ensure that we are organizing our memberships to call on this Congress to expand, in addition to protect, expand voting rights. We should be the innovators in modern day democracies and we should not be fighting to secure votes, but more importantly, um, votes for those have grabbed power. So at the end of the day, we have a country that is concerned about the changing demographics of the electorate and that this electorate is changing the face of our democracy and electing those next generation leaders that look like black women. And so we will stand with black women, uh, elected women across this country as they fight to ensure that we are blocking these detrimental bills that are coming before our legislatures and this Congress, but more importantly, put, putting forth legislation that innovates our voting system in a way that will be the leader of this globe.